Hello everyone, this is my next video. Today I am going to explain with code question number 141, linked list cycle. Given at the end of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. There is a cycle in a linked list. If there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer internally, pose. This position is used to denote the index of the node that tells next pointer is connected to. Note that POS is not passed as a parameter. We need to return the true if the cycle in if there is a cycle in the linked list, otherwise it then false. Basically, what they given question, they given on linked list and they given on add also for us. Okay. We need to find there is a cycle or not. Cycle will start from tail node. This is a tail, okay. It will start from to the next point. And if it is connected, we need to find that there is a cycle means we need to return true in Boolean or else we need to return false. See in the example one, what they given, they given uh, linked list as 3 is pointing to 2, 2 is pointing to 0 and 0 is pointing to minus 4 and the given position as 1. We are returning true because last, this is the tail node, okay. It is connected to the 2. So, we are finding there is a cycle. So, we are telling it is a true. In example 2, see, 1 is pointing to 2 and where tail node is connected to this 1. We are finding the cycle. So, we are returning it is a true. In example 3, it is a single linked list. It is not connected. There is a no cycle. So, we are returning directly it is false. This we can briefly understand in the whiteboard. See, 1 is pointing to 2 and 2 is pointing to 3 and 3 is pointing to 4 and 4 is pointing to 5 and 5 is again back it is connecting to 3. We are finding here uh, there is a cycle. So, we are returning this is true. See, in this linked list, 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, 3 is a cycle. We can directly return it as false. Now, I am using the approach by using unordered set. How it is going to work means what I will do, I will take one unordered set. Just I will take this, my head will be pointing to the first node. I will see my head is present in the map or not. Okay. It is not just I will be insert. Now my head will be pointing to the second node. Yeah, 2 is present in the map. No, I will just I will insert. My head will be pointing to the third node. Uh, 3 is element is present in the map. No, just I will be inserting. My head will be pointing to the fourth node. It is not present. That I will insert. My head will be pointing to 5. Just I will be inserting because it is not present. Now my head will be pointing to back to 3. Yeah, this 3 is already present. Then I come to know that there is a cycle. Just I will be returning. It is a true. But in this case, see, first my head will be pointing to this one. I will be just insert because it is not present in the map. Um, now my head will be pointing to the 2. It is not present. Just I inserted. Now my head will be pointing to the 3. It is not present. Just I will be insert 3. Now, my head will be pointing to the null. When I come to reach the null and there is no element is repeating in the map, then I will tell that there is a no cycle. Just we were returning false. By keeping these things in our mind, let's we can enter into the coding path. We given function as as cycle. We pass the parameters of it. It is a list node. It is a base condition. Okay. If there is a only one node means we are directly were returning it is a false. If there are more than one node means we are taking one empty unordered set list node uh, with the name of ht. This condition will work until the head is not equals to null. Okay, Then what I will do, I will find the node is present in the map or not. If it is present, just I will uh, return it is a true. If it is not present, I will insert that head and head will be pointing to the next node. After completion of all the nodes if i not found any element uh, twice is repeating in the map directly i will return false and i will come to know that there is a no cycle in the linked list let's we can dry run this example uh, not equals to add this condition will become false because there is a more than one node we are creating unordered set okay while well, add it it, it will uh, work up to it is not equals to null okay when the add reaches to null this condition will become false Okay, let's see. Yeah, 3 is not present in the map. Okay, just what I will do, I will insert 3. My head will be pointing to the now 2. 2 is present in the map. No, just I will be insert. Now 0. 0 is not present. Just I will be insert. Now my head will be pointing to the minus 4. Not present in the map. 
just I will be at. Now my head again it will back. It will be pointing to the two. Two is already present. Then just I will be telling it is a true. Okay, this is the logic. Now we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of n because here we are using while loop. It will travels all the nodes once. So it is taking the time of big of n. The space complexity is taking big of n because we are using here unordered set. It takes the space of big of n. Okay, let's uh, we can discuss with better space complexity uh, in another logic. Okay. In this logic, what I am using, I am using two uh, pointers. Okay, one is slow and other is fast. Slow will be moved by one step and fast will be moved by two steps. Both are pointing to the end. Okay, start. This will work only my fast should uh, not should be not equals to null until that it will work. Okay, see while first iteration, my slow will be pointing to the first step and my fast will be pointing to the two step. In second iteration, my slow will be pointing to the one. Zeroth node, and when my force will be pointing to the minus four, again it will come to the two. Okay, now my slow will be pointing to the minus four. Now my force will be pointing to zero four. Okay, when my slow and force will become equal, right? Then I will come to know that when slow and force both are will be equal, then we come to know that there is a cycle. Okay. In case if you not found any slow is not equals to false means we are returning to the false. Okay, now we can discuss with second example. Starting slow and false will be pointing to the first node. Okay, in first iteration my slow will be pointing to the second node. My false will be pointing to the again one because it will point one step and again second step it will be come here. Okay, now my slow will be pointing to the first node. See, my slow and fast become equal. When it will become equal, then we come to know that there is a cycle. Then we will return it. It is a true. Let's we can discuss the uh, briefly coding part. This is a base condition. Okay, if a is equals to equals to null, means we are returning it is a null. Okay. After that, I taken two pointers, one is slow and another fast. Both are pointing to the end. Okay, and this will work only when my false should be not equals to null and false of next should be not equals to null. Last node and previous last node should be not equals to null. Until that, this will work. Okay, my false will move by two steps, so I will I take a false equals to false of next next. My slow will be point by one step slow, so slow equals to slow next. Uh, when my slow and fast both become equal, directly I will be returning true. After complete iteration, my slow is not equals to fast means I will return the false, and I will come to know that there is a no cycle. Let's we can dry run this example. Here my fast and slow are pointing to end. Here end is three. My fast and slow are pointing to the three. Okay, the condition is true. Fast is not equals to null. Yeah, fast of next is also not equals to null. Yeah, this is true. So my fast will be pointing to the two step. My fast will be pointing to the zeroth node. My slow will be pointing to the second node. Now, uh, my slow will be pointing to the zeroth node. My fast will be pointing to the two because two steps. One step it will move minus four, and a second step it will come to second node. Now the condition is true. So my fast will be pointing to the zero, one step minus four, second step. My fast will be come. Now my slow will be moved by one step. My slow will be pointing to minus four. See now condition. See now slow is equals to equals to fast. Yeah, this condition is true. So we are returning true. Okay, this is the logic. Next we can discuss the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. Time complexity is taking big of n because we are using while loop. It will travels all the nodes. The space complexity is taking big of one because we are not using any extra space. It takes only the constant amount of space. Okay, so we got one. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the video.